Hello guys, in this particular video, we will learn the cutoff frequencies for n stage amplifiers. So far, we have discussed the uh, higher cutoff frequencies, lower cutoff frequencies for particular RC network. Okay, so we will uh, learn both and how we will get the different combined graph of uh, multi stage amplifier as well as BJTFAT single stage amplifier as well. So here we will be getting the <coughs> RC network where I can say that this is your cutoff frequency that we have understood as FL okay whereas this is this was your AV and this is your frequency in logarithmic scale okay then we have got the another <coughs> graph where your y axis is AV only x axis is frequencies log in logarithmic scale only but your circuit is different so we have got different value of cutoff frequency and that we have learned as it's nothing but fh so far we have uh, discussed about this uh, rc network so i will draw this particular network over here for uh, this particular um, circuit will be getting this is the circuit is only for this particular graph and for this particular graph we have got this is uh, another circuit rc circuit simple rc circuit that we have considered uh, while uh, taking this cut of frequencies uh, vi of s this is c this is r this is c this is r just the uh, placement of this r and c is changed a little bit <coughs> now we will uh, consider the frequency response of uh, bjt and uh, fat amplification of n stage or single stage is concerned okay so first of all we'll learn how we will combine this particular uh, frequencies uh, graph in my bjt so if, uh, this particular graph and we will say that this particular graph is taken from higher side high frequency high pass filter right and that's why we will term this as <coughs> fl not fh right this will be your fl this is for the low pass low frequency response okay so this is uh, for low frequency response so in many books it is written as fh but we'll consider this for fl low frequency response as fl okay so this is fl and we will consider the low pass filter that is this first circuit where r is in series with input and output and there we will be getting the cutoff frequency as uh, i can say that this cutoff frequency is nothing but f h so keep this in mind that here we have individually considered this as f l and here we are considering the same frequency as f h with the name f h and here we have considered this as f h and here we are considering this as f l okay so now see to it that whatever formula we have got with the rc circuit for low frequency response with uh, uh, fl right and that we will be considering as fh and fh we have got that will be considering as fl in the further mathematical analysis okay <clears throat> so we will start with your multi stage that is n stage amplification process okay so as far as multi stage amplifier is concerned let's say for n stage amplifier so for n stage amplifier i will say that your value of voltage gain that will be av total right we will consider only the magnitude part okay so that magnitude part is nothing but av1 magnitude multiplied by av2 magnitude multiplied by av3 magnitude and so on i can say avn magnitude right so as far as total voltage gain is concerned I can say that the total voltage gain is nothing but the product of individual stage ka voltage gain <clears throat> okay now if under consideration that for each stage if voltage gain is same right or I can say 
equal in mathematical sense okay i can say that this av1 magnitude is equal to av2 magnitude is equal to av3 magnitude is equal to and so on is equal to avn <clears throat> i will name this as simply av okay now from this particular equation and this particular equation we will be getting that and another term that is av total av total that is equal to the value av mod to the power n for n stage amplifier for two stage amplifier i can say that av1 multiplied by av2 so if av1 is equal to av2 i can say that it will become av square okay so this is i will write it as equation number 1 okay so we will consider the another case where we'll have to look for the lower cutoff frequency right so if we increase the number of stages this is for a single stage general form of the frequency response where we have got the av as y axis and x axis may i will be getting frequency in logarithmic form so if i'm increasing the number of stages i will be getting the higher gain <coughs> right but at the same time what i will be getting i will i will be getting incremental value of fl that i'll tell it as fl dash and decremental value of the higher cut off frequency that will be fh dash right so i can conclude that here <coughs> fl increases as stage n increases right so if number of stages increases i can say that fl increases and fh decreases as stage number of stages n decreases right uh, i'm sorry it increases so if number of stages increases there are two effect one is on lower cut off frequency one is on higher cut off frequency as far as bjt responses or fet or amplifier response is concerned okay so we will start with that particular resp uh, response and we'll keep this in mind that this equation will have to incorporate somewhere right so we will take that <clears throat> let's see i know that for lower cut off frequency okay so for lower cut off frequency we will say that whatever value of gain we will be getting that will be your avm divided by under root of 1 plus f upon fl the whole square <coughs> okay so as far as uh, lower cut off frequency is concerned we have got this particular equation but mind well as i am telling you again and again this will be your <coughs> higher cut off frequency okay so this is your lower cut off frequency so i have to consider this for higher side response so i will change the name for bjt or fet or mos amplification any amplifier response or other so for any amplifier response i will say that av is equal to avm divide by under root of 1 plus f upon fh the whole square right so far so good very good i can say that if each and every stage is giving me the value av is equal to avm divided by under root of 1 plus f upon fh the whole square is concerned this is nothing but the magnitude of your gain okay so we'll put in a mod right if we say that each and every stage gives you the similar gain same valued gain so we'll say that for equal gain <coughs> right so we'll say for, for equal gain using equation 1 and 2 will be getting this is equation number 2 we'll consider right and from equation number 1 and 2 we will be getting av total right is equal to avm divided by square root of 1 plus 
f upon fh the whole square to the power n because i know that av total is equal to av to the power n if each stage gives you the similar value gain okay so what we will be getting we will say that at f is equal to we will say fh dash and what is fh dash fh dash is nothing but fh dash is nothing but your <coughs> we'll say higher cutoff frequency <coughs> for n stage amplifier okay so this will be higher cutoff frequency for n stage amplifier and i'm treating this as the parameter fh dash so let's begin with this particular derivation so we will say that the <coughs> at f is equal to fh dash your av will become av total will become i can say av total max divided by square root of 2 right as far as simple RC network is concerned, at cutoff frequency, we will be getting the value which is less than the maximum value by root 2. Okay. So, we will say that again for AV as well, AV is equal to your value of AVM, right, divided by <coughs> square root of 1 plus F upon FH, the whole square, right. So, we will make use of this third and fourth equation right so from equation number one and two from equation one and or i can say three and four not one into three and four <coughs> i can see that this av to the power n will become this to the power n simple we'll make use of these two terms we'll be getting the av total max divided by root two is equal to avm to the power n divided by square root of 1 plus f divided by fh the whole square to the power n. <coughs> now, as far as this avm, this first equation is concerned, this first equation is concerned, I know that av total is equal to av to the power n. So, I can easily say that av total max m is equal to avm to the power n as well because just the replacing parameter is root 2 okay <clears throat> so we'll say that this av total m is equal to avm to the power n okay so we will say <clears throat> av total m all right but av total m is equal to avm to the power n so that will get cancelled out and will be finally getting root 2 is equal to square root of 1 plus f upon fh the whole square okay and this is the equation where uh, we'll have to put uh, to the power n as well for n number of stages so solving we will be getting if we solve this equation right we will be getting <coughs> solving and putting the value f is equal to fh dash so at f is equal to fh dash we will be getting the value of fh dash will become fh into square root of 2 to the power 1 upon n minus 1 so we have got the value of fh dash is equal to fh into square root of 2 to the power 1 upon n minus 1. So, this is your first equation for your cutoff frequency and this equation is nothing but the equation for higher cutoff frequency. Higher cutoff frequency. <coughs> right? So, this is obviously for amplification. Right? And now, if we take the similar case with the lower cutoff frequency, now we can easily solve with different value of uh, the frequency response for lower cutoff frequency, and we can easily find out the lower cutoff frequency. So, uh, pause the screen for a while and try of your own 
how we can reach towards the lower cutoff frequency. There will be a little bit change about this particular equation of AVM and uh, F and FH. Here if we have FH, there will be getting the FL. Okay. So pause the screen and come to me in a short break. Right. Now come to me. <coughs> AV total M is equal to AVM to the power N. AV is equal to AVM divided by square root of 1 plus FL upon F the whole square. Now keep this in mind that whatever we have learned so far <coughs> with RC circuit with a different parameter FH. Right? Now here we have to consider with a different parameter that is FL. Right? So if we consider the value of FL we have to consider a lower cut off frequency but at the high pass circuit with RC circuit. Okay. So there we have considered the parameter FH and here we are considering the parameter FL. Okay. So we will say that we will proceed further uh, with this particular two equations. We will say the value AV total <coughs> M divided by square root of 2 is equal to we will say the value AV M divided by 1 plus fl divided by f the whole square to the power n okay as i said earlier av total to the power av total of m that is maximum voltage gain for n stage amplifier is equal to single stage amplifier ka maximum gain to the power n so this and this term will get cancelled and will be getting 1 upon square root of 2 is equal to 1 upon 1 plus fl upon f the whole square to the power n right if we simplify further we will be getting solving and put we will say putting f is equal to fl dash we will be getting fl dash is equal to fl divide by square root of 2 to the power 1 upon n minus 1. So here we will be getting the value of FL dash that is nothing but lower cutoff frequency as far as BJT amplifier is concerned. Now if we put the values of n for lower cutoff as well as higher cutoff frequencies we will be getting the FL dash is higher than the value of FL and FH dash is lower than the value of FH okay. So this is your second equation right. So we will put the we will write this uh, first equation as well that is FH dash is equal to FH into <coughs> 2 to the power 1 upon n minus 1 okay so these two equations in these two equations we'll say for n is equal to 2 right so for n is equal to 2 what will be the value of fl dash and what will be the value of fh dash right now what you'll have to do you have to pause your screen and calculate these particular values and check that whether fl dash is greater than fl and fh dash is less than fh or not okay so pause the screen come to me in a short while break right got the values very good so as we have said fl dash should be greater than fl if i multiply with greater than one ka value that is 1.554 then obviously fl dash is increasing and fh dash is multiplying with fh by factor 0 0.64 so here i can say that as n increases your value of FL increases, right? So FL dash will become greater and FH dash will become less, right? So if FL dash increases, FH dash is less. So obviously your bandwidth will decreases, right? So this is overall effect of frequency response of a BJT, FAT or MOSFET amplifier for N stages, right? So stay tuned for further videos with the numerical analysis and derivation and design. So learn more and more EDC2 from EKIDA videos with me, obviously. So learn more and more EKIDA videos. Thank you so much.